Thank you for joining us today. I'm Eric Schneiderman, uh, New York State Attorney General. First of all, uh, we are obviously all thinking about the people in Japan today and hoping the best for them in their ongoing struggles. Uh, but the events that are unfolding also require us to examine what is happening here at home, to make sure we are doing all we can do to avert such a crisis here in New York and in the rest of the nation. As many of you know, the relicensing process to determine whether to keep the Indian Point facility in Buchanan, New York, is currently underway. What you may not know is that the federal agency responsible for that process, the Nuclear, Nuclear Regulatory Commission, has consistently refused to include safety issues like potential seismic threats when considering the relicensing determination. I think we can all agree that recent events have underscored the need to understand the threats posed by potential earthquakes and other safety risks at all of our nuclear power plants. We know that this is an issue because even the NRC has admitted in a separate report that seismic risk has risen at plants across the country. Last September, they issued a report uh, called, it's referred to as GS-199, noting just that. But at the same time, they, while noting that they issued the report, they refused to consider this issue as a part of the relicensing process. They have not even made reference to independent reports, such as those of the U.S. Geological Survey and the Columbia Lamont Dougherty Earth Observatory study. This is unacceptable to me. I believe it's unacceptable to most of the people of the state of New York, and I think it should be unacceptable to everyone in the United States. It's especially important to answer significant health and safety questions before any relicensing proceedings on Indian Point are concluded. That is why today I'm sending a letter and calling on the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to undertake an immediate, full, and open assessment of all public health and safety risks that earthquakes pose to the Indian Point to plant and its surrounding area. Before any conversation about extending Indian Point's operation can continue, we must examine the seismic risks. Specifically, we're calling on the NRC to amend what are called its Part 54 regulations, referring to 10 CFR Part 54, to include seismic activity in the scope of review for relicensing. Uh, this means, very simply, that the NRC will be required to fully examine seismic activity and how it would affect Indian Point as a part of its relicensing proceedings. It is remarkable and unacceptable that they are refusing to do that. In fact, seismic, seismic activity is something that the NRC has had raised repeatedly. This office, starting with the activities of my predecessor, uh, uh, then Attorney General Cuomo, raised this repeatedly with the NRC going back to 2007, and they have consistently refused to include seismic activity, assessments of these kinds of safety risks as a part of the relicensing procedure. Um, regardless of your position on relicensing or on nuclear energy in general, I believe we can all agree that we have to do everything we can to protect the health, safety, and environment of the 20 million people living near Indian Point. That means we have to get all the information we can regarding the risks that we know are there. Just last month, my office led a coalition of states in filing a lawsuit against the NRC because they refused to require uh, a full study of the impact of long-term nuclear waste storage on plant grounds. The NRC had previously determined such storage could happen even without properly studying its impact. They didn't even conduct a full environmental impact study. We know from the events in Japan that it is one of the biggest threats we're facing in that situation is the long-term nuclear waste that in Japan, as in the United States, is allowed to be stored on the site of the plant. Again, we will not allow decisions to be made without first guaranteeing New Yorkers' safety. As you know, uh, this is a, a plant just 24 miles north of New York City. 17 million people live within a 50-mile radius of Indian Point, and it is incumbent upon both the leaders of the government and on the regulating authorities to 
be responsible, to be open, and to conduct a full, fair, and comprehensive review of these issues before relicensing can take place. So today we have issued a letter, which I believe we're making available to you, to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. We've been in touch with them regarding proposed amendments to Part 54, and we are adamant that the relicensing of Indian Point not go forward unless there's a full evaluation of the seismic and other safety risks. Um, I'm joined here today by Peter Washburn and Janice Dean of my Environmental Bureau. Uh, the Environmental Bureau of the Attorney General's Office has been in the forefront of efforts to ensure the safety of our nuclear power plants, and I'm proud to continue in that tradition today. And now we'll take questions.